I'm always happy to come to Israel. Uh, it's a lot of relations with uh, Russian Jews who came here. And uh, there's a part of my family on the wife's side uh, who's Jewish and some of the far relatives lives here in Israel. And it's a feeling of in some ways coming home because the mentality uh, being, of course, very original Jewish, uh, it also has those aspects which, which are close to society where I was growing up. Uh, always a pleasure to be on stage with Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra and uh, to do such a variety of the concerts. You know, we did this jeans concert, we did late night concerts, morning concerts today, and you can see uh, that it's different public coming and different perception from the audience. So next time I'm back in December, uh, with a program of uh, American music, Prokofiev, Schubert, Schumann, uh, even Hugo Wolf, Thomas Hampson will come and sing, I hope. So uh, there are the plans to come back. Family life for conductors is not easy because you are absent for quite a lot of time. And I have two kids and it's of course I'm missing them and I can't bring them with me because of school they are attending school and it's only at the time when uh, there's a school holidays or at the time when uh, I can snatch them a little bit from school or at the time when I'm in Liverpool that we are all together. It's not easy life but on the other hand it uh, let the freshness stay in the relationship. You miss each other but then when you meet each other you have uh, enormous joy. There's a lot of stardust on the kids, of course, but I'm trying to uh, keep it under. So whatever happens uh, at the work time for me, with their presence or without their presence, it does not reflect my relationship with them at home. Because uh, I think it, for any child it's very important, first of all, to understand the relation between effort and success that not a single success is possible without effort and not every effort lead to success. To give this knowledge to the child, uh, it's very difficult and challenging actually, especially nowadays when a lot of relations in the young generation based on their success and fame. But I'm trying to separate, separate those things, so at home I can be quite strict and uh, we, I help them with homework, we, we live as more or less normal family. My son plays piano a little bit uh, and he also plays saxophone, mainly just for fun. Uh, for my daughter, she's uh, not yet five, so for her it's a bit too early, but she's in ballerina mood, I'd say. But I'm not pushing them, I think there's a plenty of professions uh, plenty of occupations you can choose uh, and it's very important that you choose what you want. If you really uh, do what you want, do what you love, uh, then you can do it 24 hours, 7 days a week and 365 a year. Uh, and if you don't, even if you're successful, it leads to depression. So. Whatever you do, it always has to be your hobby. It always has to be your primary life. I've been in England for quite a while already. Uh, it's 12th season finished with Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra. It's also my fifth season ended with uh, Oslo Philharmonic Orchestra. And of course, you always think about next steps. You always think about the next future. Uh, you're always considering the places where to be, where to go. But I won't do it for sake of change. Uh, any move, I think as a move forward and wherever I go, I feel it like what can be right for me, for the orchestra and for the environment. Uh, in that sense, yes, I hope that there is some more news in the near future will appear and uh, we will see where, where the path leads us. There's a lot of orchestra who's uh, measuring and who's trying to look into their next potential uh, music director. Some of them come to me openly with this question, some of them do, let's say, hidden research. But there's a lot of interest, there's a lot of 
uh, possibilities and options in the future. And uh, it's always exciting, but uh, I always do my week with any orchestra at uh, the same best possible way. I don't divide the orchestras as this one is more interesting, this is less interesting to me. No, every orchestra, every single time, every single rehearsal, every single concert, to me is equally important. So I'm always trying to do my best to give the opportunity for musicians in the orchestra to shine and to perform even better than they could imagine. This is the ultimate role of conductor, to get maximum and above the maximum from every individual musician in the orchestra and from the orchestra as a body.